Welcome back to Media Rumble. In the few months since Batman vs Superman has debuted, there's been many promises thrown around. Promises about doing better next time and not being such a buzzkill. And this year at Comic Con was the very first chance for them to prove that they knew what they were doing with the franchise and that it wasn't just a depressed monkey with a pen in charge of the DC Cinematic Universe. Probably a slight spoiler alert for Batman vs Superman in this video by the way. So watch out if you've not seen it already. So as well as the panel this year, we get shown a trailer for Justice League. And this trailer shows off all of the big guns in the Justice League, excluding Superman, who is currently sleeping in a box underground. This trailer is all about Batman and Wonder Woman trying to build the Justice League after Superman's death. And this is in order to fight off an upcoming threat. And we get to see an ancient king Burying a mother box, a powerful computer used by the new gods of Apocalypse, including Darkseid and Steppenwolf, who is rumoured to be the big bad for this film. We get to see Bruce Wayne all grizzled and beardy trying to set up a meeting with the stranger. And this stranger is none other than Aquaman himself, who's looking equally as grizzled and beardy as Bruce Wayne, while also looking like he's taking part in an Atlantean fragrance advert. And this trailer really sets down a marker on this new Aquaman, that he's not a pushover and he's someone who can't be underestimated. And this is even more so shown when he actually refuses Bruce Wayne's offer to join the Justice League. And next up is my most anticipated character, from this movie, The Flash. We see short snippets of a scene set in Barry Allen's workshop where we see his suit, his tech, and his apparent second favourite chair. And there's a really good exchange between Bruce Wayne and Barry Allen at this point. We get to see Barry's new superpower, wit. And besides that, we get to see Bruce Wayne throwing a batarang at him. And then Barry just calmly steps into the speed force and clutches it out the air. And this is quite interesting because we get to see that Barry doesn't actually need a running start to tap into the Speed Force. We get a great view at the Flash's costume as well. It looks more homemade and cobbled together than its CW counterpart, but also looks more technologically advanced as well. And we get to see the classic Flash logo with a white circle and a yellow lightning bolt through it. But we also get to see that its suit is made up of metallic parts and seemingly is bound together by wires. And this really puts out the look that it's been cobbled together by Barry using other pieces of tech. Speaking of tech, we get to see Cyborg, the part man, part machine, who started off as the Gotham University football player Vic Stone, who has been put back together by a mother box following a seemingly horrific accident. We only get a few seconds of a look at Cyborg as this character is someone who has to be completely rendered. And the CGI just kind of looked a bit out of place, but that can be expected as I've just really started production. But in general, the look for this character is fantastic. It's obvious from this trailer that they're trying to move away from the serious tone that they focused on for Batman vs Superman. And this is apparent because we see the number of witty remarks that the characters are producing. We'll need to see though if that's the case for the full film when it's released in November 2017. But for now, you can subscribe to Media Rumble to keep up to date with all the superhero news and anything I'm enjoying in the world of entertainment. So let me know in the comments down below what you feel about this trailer and what your opinions are on the franchise in general and where you'd like to see it going. I'm Chris and thanks for watching.